Hi guys. So I just thought that I just wanted to shoot a quick video about the um, layoffs at QVC. Uh, I don't think I would I don't think I would be sincere or honest with you if I didn't shoot this video. So, sorry, I think Gigi's barking at something. Oh, by the way, look at that. It's the Disney cruise ship right back there. See the Mickey Mouse ears? <laughs> and they, um, they play It's a Small World. <laughs> so, that's their horn. <laughs> anyway, to just let it go and, um, you know, not acknowledge it or say anything, I don't think is being honest with you and how I feel. So I just wanted to say a few words. Um, first off, my heart goes out to the 400 plus employees that got laid off. I will always have a special place in my heart for QVC. Where it's gone though now, I'm not sure. And it makes me sad. Um, as you know, Carolyn Gracie and Dan Hughes got let go. Um, I know how much that hurts you and them. And that's just something that I wanted to touch on real quick, especially that part. I want you to know how sincerely the QVC hosts really care about you. It's, it's a weird friendship and it is a friendship and it's a real friendship. And I think you and I have proved that time and time again. Um, as you followed me um, through my cancer, the leukemia, the breast, Chris's heart attack, the house, you, man, I just, I, it makes me cry. It makes me get very emotional about um, how good you guys were to me and still are and that's not something that you forget that's not something that you take lightly good people that have your back and good people that support you and you know some people say you know you're not she's not really your friend that's not true that's the biggest lie ever told here because you are my friend and I do see you that way and I wouldn't have shared the chemo, the hair loss, the pain, the all of that with you. Who does that to strangers? Nobody. That that was because I knew you guys are my friends. Now I'm getting off on a tangent, but my my point is is that I know that Carolyn and Dan see you guys the same as I do, as real friends, real family. And I know business is business and companies are companies and, you know, they're, they're not all about family and, get you, they're not all about family and friends. It's a business. They're trying to run a business. I get that. But, kid, <laughs> squeaky. But, um, People are people, and Carolyn and Dan are people, and you're people, and there is a true bond and a true friendship and something that no one wants to lose or let go of. It just, I don't know how to explain it, but I just, I didn't want the time to go by without letting you know that I, I had read a lot of you guys were upset about Dan and Carolyn and um, losing the connection and I'm just saying they are too they don't want to lose the connection so I know Carolyn put up a, her own private Facebook page now and I think Dan did too so go on over there and, and be with them again and stay with them too um, because it's not no one wants to lose friends or family. And regardless of corporate and companies, that is exactly how I see you, friends and family, as they do. 
So for the 400 plus employees that you didn't get to meet, I just want you to know that they felt the same way. We all do, the crew, the line producers, the directors. It's personal to us, really personal. It's not a job, it's personal. So I'm gonna end with that. I'll probably talk more about it later, but I wanted you to know that it's real. Our relationship is real and that my heart goes out to those 400 plus employees especially Carolyn and Dan because they're like family um, I've been in touch with both of them so anyway that's all I wanted to say I'm sorry <laughs> that I'm big, 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 big. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later love you bye bye